seated. Can we have church today? Let's give the double anointed father. Song said, Up on the stormy sea. Yeah. That means when you're going through yeah. difficult times, Hallelujah. Jesus speaks to me. Yeah. And that last song, nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm happy in church. I don't have to pretend I'm happy. I'm happy. He's alive. Yes, Lord. I testify he's alive. I can feel him down in my soul. I don't serve a dead God. I serve a living God. Now I have a brief message. Brief brother. Brief brother. You know, you don't have to stay all day. Have a good time in church. Amen. I'm not going to keep you all day. But one thing I want you to understand, we've already had a good time in church. Now, now when the word goes forward, I still want you to say amen. I still want you to be happy. I want to take my main text from uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 1. Amen. Through the grace of God, I want to connect it with Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. Yeah. And my thought that I want to share with you this morning is to fully understand that knowledge comes through instructions. Mm -hmm. And the instruction comes to everybody who's seeking the righteous pathway. Yeah. Spiritual values can only come through a spiritual understanding of God's word. Yeah. So the Bible says, we that are spiritual speak to spiritual needs. In other words, whatever I want in the natural, I got to first receive it by the Spirit. The Spirit now dominates my life. I put God first and everything else second. We have to understand, church, in this race, God requires that he is served in its completeness, Amen. in spirit and in truth. Yes. I've shared often about the rich young ruler. Mm -hmm. He wanted salvation, wanted to go to heaven. Yes, but he wasn't willing to give up everything. Amen. Oh, he'd have been willing to give up a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe even more than half. But he did not want to give up everything. Amen. And we have to understand in the sanctified church, mm -hmm. God requires that special offering Yes, of ourselves Amen. and the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. We cannot give him half. Amen. We have to give him everything. Amen. And this is why separation Amen. is so critically important. Amen. The enemy only has one weapon yes. that he can yeah. use against the church. Amen. That's the psychological yes. factor that he plays on our minds. Mm -hmm. Don't let the devil get yes. an advantage. Yes. Don't let the devil try to get in any kind of way sideways. Don't let the devil get his foot in the door. Because if he get his foot in the door, pretty soon he's going to force his way all the way in the door. We've got to understand, devil, you have no purpose and no place in my life. I'm committed and consecrated to godliness. And I'm going to serve God all I know how. Now once you serve him all you know how, then you've done your part. God will do the rest. But you give him everything that you can give him. And the natural. And the spiritual things will take care of spiritual values. Is that right? Praise God. Now here, we've got to understand the very essence of the true church. We didn't uh, name our church True Light. God did that. Through the Spirit. I was sitting in the pulpit one Sunday evening next to another minister waiting for the service to start. And God spoke to me like I'm speaking to you. Start my church. And the name shall be True Light. Hallelujah. And I turned to the minister next to me. I said, now, 
How do you spell light? Because I knew there was two, two sons. L-I-G-E and L-I-G-H-T. And I didn't want to make no mistake. And uh, because it caught me all of a sudden. I wasn't meditating on it. It just caught me all of a sudden. Yes. I didn't have time to reflect in no scripture. I just turned to the window. I said, how do you spell light? Mm -hmm. He said, well, in what context? Light bear means L-I-T-E. But light means L-I-G-H-T. In what context? Amen. I said, well, thank you. How and I took it on from there. Amen. I know it wasn't talking about no light bear. It was talking about the true light. Hallelujah. And this is why we call ourselves the true light. That's God's name to his church. To us Praise God. The sanctified church. Yeah. Amen. Let me pick up in verse 6. All right. John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 6. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. A man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Now wait. John came to bear witness of the light. Mm -hmm. John is gone. Amen. But God said he left himself not without a witness. Right. Is that right? Yes, sir. So the witnesses for God still live on. Amen. We're not talking about Jehovah Witness. Right. We're talking about the true witness. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, and the true witness, praise the Lord, was not uh, Charles T. Russell. Right. It wasn't Judge Rutherford. Come on. Praise God. Read, dog. That all men through him might believe. Through him might be saved. He was not that light. But was sent to bear witness of yes. it. John was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of the light. Yeah. I told you before, John is gone. Yeah. But we still got to bear witness of that light. Is that right? Yeah. All right, now read. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. That was the true light That's right. yes. that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus is the Word of God. Hallelujah. But the Word of God is revealed in his knowledge through what the Bible calls light. Light means knowledge. Yes. Yes. Once we come into the knowledge of God or into this marvelous light, then we've got to hold on to this light. Hallelujah. And we've got to let the knowledge of God motivate us and guide us. Yes. Yes. You can't have a knowledge of God if not willing to follow after him. Yes. And this is why we have to follow that true light. Yes. Because yes. the true light is the word that Jesus sent yes. forth, yes. amen, through his first through his prophets, later through his apostles, yes, that man. we could have it in book form Hallelujah. and then reflect on the perfect pathway that we have to follow. Yes. We cannot allow ourselves to be distracted. Yes. We can't allow for yes. influence to come. We yes. try to turn our head. Right. Everyone who is not in the true light is not of God. Yes. The Bible says this is the true light, the light of the pathway of what? Every man, every man, every woman, praise God, got to walk in this true light, praise the Lord. And if you don't follow the true light, you can't be saved. Hallelujah. We've got to come to a full knowledge of who we are. We are the remnant church. Amen. Not going to be a whole crowd that's coming in. Yes, God will send a traveler every now and then. Amen. But once the traveler comes, the traveler got to make up his mind Amen. that he's going to follow the same direction yes. that we follow. Right. God don't have no multiple churches. Right. God ain't got no multiple doctrine. Yes. God got right. one church and one doctrine. Yes. That's why these people can't figure out how many gods they are. Yes. They got multiple gods. They got a trinity of God. Yes. But God said he's one. Yes. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I said one Lord means one God And one faith means one church One belief, one direction And if you're not following that one church Praise God, you're not in the right church Because there's only one church And that's a true light church And we've got to make up our mind We're in a true light church And we're in a true light church this day And I'm not Praise God Let's connect this with The book of Jeremiah Amen Fifteenth chapter. And pick me right up from verse 14. And I will make thee to pass with thine enemies into a land which thou knowest not. Uh -huh. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, which shall burn upon you. The fire that's kindled shall burn upon you. Now it's talking about his chosen people. Man. Now that fire is the trials and tests which all of us go through. Yes. And some of us are going through some showing up fire right now. Amen. But I'm trying to let you know God going to bring you through. Amen. But you can't be proven unless you first go through the 